What's the word, y'all? The season is around the corner, which means it is time for prediction week. We're starting off with an impossible. Try to predict the standings for the 2022-2023 season. And I'm calling it impossible because th there are a lot of different factors when it comes to predicting these things. It's like one major injury can take a team from being in the upper echelon to a lottery team. One disgruntled star. One general manager watching Scoot versus Victor and decide, mm, we'd rather tank for those dudes than be competitive this year. And let's be real, I'm, I'm looking at five different teams that I think can be the one seed this season. I am not exaggerating. I am looking at five different teams that can legit be the one, two seed. But in reality, one of them is going to be like the sixth seed. And one of them might not even make the playoffs at all. Predictions are hard. For example, um, the Portland Trailblazers last season, I felt very confident that the bare minimum they'd be a playoff team. But then Dame got injured and they was like, you know what, let's go tank. Because if Dame is not here, then what are we playing for? They traded CJ McCollum. That's all you need to know. Nobody predicted that. And I'm not, I'm not very good at this. I, <laughs> objectively, I'm not very good at this. Prize Picks is back, man. They were the presenting sponsor of the channel last season. And this is a new year, which means new winnings. Prize Picks is daily fantasy that is just you versus the numbers. And if you hit the link in the description, use promo code Kenny. They're matching all deposits up to $100. So much going on right now. We got NBA preseason, NFL, MLB postseason. All you have to do is pick between two to five players. And after you do that, you just determine whether you want to go more or less than the projected numbers. I've got to mention that if you do a five player entry and one player doesn't do what you expect, or two people don't do what you expect, you can still walk out there with a payout. You can create an entry in less than 60 seconds. It is just that easy. So hit the link in the description, download prize picks, and use code Kenny. Shout out to prize picks for coming back for another year. Because I went back into my notes, and uh, these were my predictions for last year's standings. I got a couple things, right? I got the Suns finishing first. Whoop de do. I think they were the two seed the year before that, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, so we got the Suns finishing first. I thought the Lakers were gonna be the two seed. And as you know, they missed the playoffs completely. I'm just showing you this so we can do the same thing next season where we look at this video and just laugh at all the missed predictions. I got the Grizzlies as a bottom play-in team again, and then they surprised the world and ended up being a two seed. So if I am too low on your team, it is okay, man. I know you got all the faith in the world in your favorite team because I do too. But there's so many different great teams that somebody's got to end up being low. Again, this was my last year's. And this is just in Google Sheets. It is extremely ugly. I, I, we, we can fix this. We did fix this is what I meant. Me and my team have been working for this. The Enjoy Basketball NBA Standings Predictions, ladies and gentlemen, it is enjoypredictions.com. All you got to do is click the spot and put the team in there. And then once you're done, you can share it. Um, and you can put it onto Twitter and we can start a dialogue. It is enjoypredictions.com. Shout out to my team because uh, they, they've been working. They've been working. Of course, East and West here. Um, this is hard, by the way. Like, legit. I haven't actually done it. So we're doing this all together. I think the easiest thing to do is to start in that lower tier. The teams that we are confident are going to go out there and try to win games. I think the 15th seed this season is going to be the San Antonio Spurs. I think the 14th seed this season is going to be the Utah Jazz. I think the 13th seed this season is probably going to be OKC, especially with Chet being out. Josh Giddy looks really good in preseason, and I know Shea is a stud. But I do believe they're looking at Victor and Scoot and be like, hmm, I think we can take one more time. I'm putting them there. I do think the Houston Rockets also are going to be there. And now we got these 11 teams in my mind are going to be the 11 teams competing for the final eight spots of the playoffs. Who do I think is going to be the one seed this season? I think the Denver Nuggets can do it. But do I want to put them there right now? Or will there be some like hangover because of the injuries? Like Jamal Murray takes a couple weeks or a month to really get in the swing of things. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. in the preseason has looked really good. I mean, we know he's going to be a bucket no matter if his back is working or not. And remember, we're only predicting regular season standings because it's a team is high in the standings don't mean they're going to be a real championship a winner because in the last couple seasons, the one seed hasn't even got there. You know what I'm saying? So like, uh, it is what it is. The three seed has won the championship in the last couple seasons. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say the Denver Nuggets are going to finish with the best record in the Western Conference. But I do believe that these top three spots are probably going to be decided on the last two days of basketball. So the two seed is going to be, uh, man, the teams that are really in my mind for the two seed is Phoenix, Golden State, and LA. Phoenix, the vibes are not completely right in camp right now, but I do believe that they have enough talent to look past that and still win a bunch of basketball games. Golden State, the vibes might not be high right now either with Draymond Green doing what he did, but they still have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson going to be fully healthy 
and Draymond will be playing for them this season. At least that's what we, we guess. And they're coming off the championship, so I still believe they deserve that level of respect. And the Clippers... They have the best depth in basketball, but we still question whether or not Kawhi is going to play 50 games or he going to play, I don't know, somewhere between 25 and 50. I don't know. I'm going to give the respect to the Golden State Warriors and have them be the two seed this season. Because though the Golden State Warriors are great, I don't feel like they're a team that's going to care too much about, about having the one seed because they just won the championship as the three seed. Like, it didn't matter too much in the grand scheme of their season. And I would kind of want them to chill on Steph Curry in the regular season. Or Klay Thompson's probably going to get um, some games where he sits out just based off him missing a bunch of time in the last couple years. But you know what? I think Minnesota is completely built to, to be amazing in the regular season. One thing that has been true with Rudy Gobert is he's been a regular season defensive monster. And if your team is top five in defense and you have a competent offense, which I'm sure they will because Anthony Edwards and Carthony Towns are there, they're going to win a bunch of games in the regular season. I'm, I'm actually going to go Minnesota based off that alone. That might be super high for a lot of people, I understand. But I, again, I'm thinking about the regular season exclusively. Then I'm gonna go LA Phoenix. Do I feel good about that? Do I feel good? I, I, I mean, no, I don't. There's nothing in this video that I feel confident with except for Utah and San Antonio being 14 and 15. Everything else is up in the air. But now I'm looking at the teams that are remaining and it's like two of either Memphis, Dallas, or New Orleans is gonna be in the play -in? That feels wrong. But the teams above them, I feel a little bit more confident in when it comes to the regular season. Like Memphis did everything in their power to gain our respect. And here I am disrespecting them for the second season in a row. But Jaron Jackson Jr. is going to miss at least some time this season. And they did lose a little bit of depth with um, Cal Anderson leaving and them trading for a uh, trade in Anthony Melton away. I'm sure one of those rookies are going to step up just like the way they do. And we're probably going to see a Zaire Williams jump. But like they're one of those teams that I can see end up being a top three seed or being in the play-in. There, there are a lot of teams in that range. Like Minnesota, Minnesota is in that range for me where I can see them being top three. I got them top three right now in the regular season, but I can also see it taking a year to actually jail. So I'll drop them. I'll drop them. So I'll drop them again. There's not going to be a lot of jailing for the Phoenix Suns. They do have the DeAndre Aiden cloud over them. And they do have the Jay Crowder, what the heck is you're getting for Jay Crowder thing. But I do believe that Rudy Gobert, don't matter what his teammates are, he's going to be able to carry you to a top 10 defense. And this is the first time where he's got multiple like elite level offensive threats around him with, with Ant-Man and Carthony Towns. Luka in itself might be a top five seed. You know what I'm saying? They lost Jalen Brunson. They brought in Christian Wood. Tim Hardaway Jr. is back from his injury. Oh man, this is extremely hard. I knew it was gonna be hard. That's why I said this is impossible, but like now that I'm here and actually doing it, it's even harder than I imagined. Controversial, controversial, controversial. What is this 11 team? I'm looking at these three in the middle, obviously. Is it Sacramento, is it LA, or is it Portland? And I know you're probably looking at me like, Kenny, it has to be Sacramento, right? I'm high on Sacramento this season. I've, I'm going to put Sacramento as a 10 seed. We, we got to get bold, ladies and gentlemen. I think the Sacramento Kings are a play-in team. But now we're looking at LA or Portland for being on the outside. I think a lot of people have forgotten who Damian Lillard is. Damian Lillard has been, a, like how we say Rudy Gobert has been a top 10 defense by himself. Damian Lillard, when healthy, has been a top 10 offense by himself, like for the last, I don't know, eight seasons it feels like. But they also have some of the worst depth in basketball. Their starter five is solid. I like their starter five. But their depth is questionable, and I think overall their defense is going to be questionable. I'm putting Portland at 11, and I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. This this right here might be the thing that bites me the most because Dame is such a monster that I, I can see him just carrying his team to like one of the topper end spots. But like again, somebody has to end up there, and I'm saying it's going to be Portland. Um, I guess I'm putting the Lakers here, and then now we're figuring out this. Um, I'm going to give Memphis the benefit of the doubt, but again, Zion Williamson is back. They're going to be healthy, but maybe my argument against them, if that's what we're saying, it, saying is that they might take some time to get used to playing with each other, especially with CJ being their lead guard right now. But again, that don't feel great either. This sucks. This sucks. This is hard. This is impossible. That's what it is. It's, it's impossible. I would rather do this in tears. You know what I'm saying? But then again, like... Dallas could be the three seed or they could be like the eight seed. LA could be 
the one seed or they could be the four seed. Like, I don't think, I don't think there's a lot of variance to the LA Clippers of, uh, if we're assuming that Kawhi Leonard is going to play some this season. The Phoenix Suns can be up to the one seed or down to, I would say, like the five seed. The Timberwolves, like I said, I'm high on them. I think they could be the three seed or playing team. The Grizzlies can be as high as a three seed or playing team. I think that the, the, the Pelicans can be as high as a, like a four seed, but as low as a playing team. The Lakers can be as high as like six, I would say, and as low as missing. I'm being honest. And Sacramento, I think I put Sacramento at their absolute ceiling. And then Portland has like six through 11. I, this is hard, but this is what you would do. If you finally came to your 15 prediction, you hit share. You should subscribe to the newsletter for sure. Hit this button here. But after you do that, you just hit share and then it'll copy it and you can just paste it into your Twitter just like this. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking through it again. I don't, I don't feel confident with this. A video like this, you're not gonna have anybody on your side other than the Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets fans love this video. Everybody else is like, Kenny got us too, too low. But again, I'm thinking regular season, there's no right answers. I mean, there is one, there's gonna be one right answer. Um, but hey, Kenny got these two right, maybe. <laughs> one of them could be the other way around. I don't know. Like, is Memphis gonna fall from the two seed to the seven seed? All I hope is that you don't take this too seriously. I, I made some final revisions. I can't sit here for 40 more minutes thinking about it. It's, it's just gonna give me a big headache. I have the Denver Nuggets as the one seed. Number two, the Golden State Warriors. Number three, the Clippers. Number four, the Suns. Number five, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Number six, the Pelicans. Number seven, the Memphis Grizzlies. And you know what? I'm, I might be a prisoner of the unseen. Because we haven't seen the Pelicans in Minnesota, maybe I'm higher on them than I probably should be. When in reality, like Memphis has showed that they could be a very, very good team. Same thing with Dallas. Um, but but that's just me kind of projecting that these two teams are going to outperform. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We got Memphis at seven. It sucks to have them at seven, but I, I do believe that they have the opportunity to be way, way higher. Same thing with Dallas, but it's just the way it ended up going. I got the Lakers, the Kings, and then the rest. Wow. That was hard. But you know what's harder? The Easter Conference. <laughs> So I'll see y'all in a few days with the Easter Conference, bro. This is not going to go good. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. Hey, actually, if I got your team too low, talk me into it. Help me change my predictions for the upcoming season. And don't just say, oh, we got this and that. Compare it to a team that I had higher. And we'll see. I appreciate y'all.